Okay, so hopefully right here is a photo of mystery boxes I have for sale. That's right, purse mystery boxes made by me. So welcome guys, it's Kristen from Another Chance Resale. This is Friday's purse sale video and these mystery boxes are for sale today. Hey, Six mystery purse boxes available. They are all $100 shipped. Now, let me give you the details, okay? So if you purchase any other handbag in the video, it'll be separate because these boxes are already boxed up and ready to go. So I will just slap a label on it and ship it out to you and charge you $100. Um, and anything else you purchase will be shipped separately uh, with the shipping costs. So just keep that in mind. Um, so what we have here are mystery boxes that I comprised of purses that I took out of my antique booth. So things that don't sell um, from here um, or purses that I buy strictly for my antique booth. You guys, if you guys know me by now, um, I've been talking about it, I'm doing it. I'm leaving my antique booths. I'm closing them up uh, for the end of the year. So um, I'm pulling out all, like I'm pulling out stuff little by little. So I pulled out almost all the purses and I made mystery boxes um, of them. So some of them you've seen before, maybe you haven't, um, but they're all in good condition. They're all in resellable condition. Um, and all of them, except for one, has a designer brand. So all of the boxes will have either one Coach, one Cole Haan, one Dooney and Burke, or one Michael Kors. And then the rest will be um, various brands. There are five purses in each box, just like a thread up purse box. Five purses, but full purses. Full purses, not, not accessories. So um, one of the, sorry, two of the boxes will have an extra item. So two of the boxes will have six items, but that sixth item is an accessory, okay? So it won't be a full purse. Then I have one box that has seven items because there's not a designer like Coach Cole Haan, Judy and Burke, or Michael Kors. They are all um, very good name brands, like there's one that's a high, very higher end brand, but it's not designer like that. So that box is the only box that I have marked because I have seven in that box, okay? So that one is also $100, but I have it marked. So you can specifically request the seven item box, okay? The other boxes are complete mysteries, um, surprise if you are the one of the two boxes get, that get the six items instead of five um, but all those boxes are not marked um, I do not know which what's in which box so I will not be you know playing favorites and giving someone you know the one with the six that I like or something like that so um, all the boxes have five or more two of them have six one of them has seven okay they're all $100 shipped within the US, okay? Within the US, shipped. If you're outside the US, email me, we'll talk about it, okay? Um, so the only box that you're allowed to request is the seven item box. The rest of them is just request a mystery box, okay, for $100, okay? So I have a lot to go over, you guys. Hopefully you guys aren't skipping through this in intro. Um, I went back to the store that had all the brand new tag Kipling purses. They did not have any left. So I'm very sorry. I know a handful of you reached out to me by email. I'm sorry, I looked and they're all gone. So I did check for you guys. Um, they are not available any longer. Um, I also have a ton of yarn for sale, I know that's super random, but I will put in pictures right here.
So I have two huge boxes of that yarn. Um, email me if you're interested. Most of them will be like five or ten dollars, um, like a, a spool or whatever you call it. Um, a lot of it is super high-end yarn, um, hand-dyed uh, from France, stuff like that. So, you know, email me if you're interested. We'll make a nice bundle deal. Um, so let me know about that. Okay, see, I have to write it all down because, like I've said in the past, once I turn that uh, record button on, my brains just fall out my ears. Okay, so in this video, not only did we have everything that I just went over, but we have the clearance section, we have the thrifted purse section, we have a little bit of clothing, a little bit of shoes, and we also have a thread up name brand handbag rescue box to unbox. So what a packed video. This is the, not the last video, but the last video before Halloween weekend. Okay, so I hope everybody, I got my little Betsy Johnson uh, Spidey necklace on. I got my nails done extra for Halloween. Got my little, you know, uh, bleach dyed plaid and some dark makeup. Dark makeup. Anyway, um, so let's get into it and let's start out with the clearance section. Remember, if you're interested in anything that you see in the video, you have to email me. I do not take requests down in the comment section, so email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com. I always keep all my information down below in the description box. Um, let me know a timestamp and a brief description of the items that you're interested in. Um, check the sold list down in the comment section. You guys have to check this list. Um, I, I work really hard to make this list. So if you just scroll up on the video where you see everybody's comments, it'll be the top one at the very top all the time. Please check that out because it takes me so much time to get through emails if you're not checking. And I have to take the time to write back to everybody saying, I'm sorry, that's on the sold list. I'm sorry, that's on the sold list. I try to get back to you guys as fast as I can. Um, so please help us all out by checking that list. Um, and make sure you refresh the video. So that's super important. After you're done watching, refresh the video so then you have the most up-to-date sold list because I will be updating that literally every second. So every time a purse sells, I will update that list. So make sure you, you're um, refreshing the page or clicking out, coming back in so that you're seeing the most up-to-date list. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. Shipping's not included in the prices of the video. Um, just, you have to let me know your shipping address um, and your PayPal email if I don't already have it. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first one we have on the sold list is the All Saints. This is a very high-end designer. This is um, the this brand. The purse is going for up to $200 on eBay. It is a gray leather and you have the long shoulder strap and you also have the handle, okay? This one had a couple little minor scratches on the front here, but it's really nothing serious. I um, did a nice cleaning on it and a nice uh, conditioning and it looks great. Okay, and um, the bottoms and the corner have very, 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 very minimal wear. And it is a zipper closure. And all of, once all of that's out of here, we have the interior. There's your All Saints logo there. Not that you can see it. Jeez Louise. Um, the raw leather. Okay, super nice. And this one, I'm gonna drop it a lot. I'm gonna drop it to $80, okay, you guys? So this is a great deal. Um, this is a very high-end brand, um, like I said, going up to $200 on eBay. So grab it for 80 bucks. And then we have the lug, which was the um, camo. And it is crossbody or shoulder strap. You can adjust it. And you can also take this off and feed it through the back here and make it a fanny pack, okay? Belt bag, however you wanna call it. Um, but excellent, excellent condition. You have two zipper pockets on the top. First one has your lug and um, the zipper and slip. 
and then the other one's blank. Super excellent condition, super cute, very versatile, and I'm gonna drop it to $24. Then we had the Brighton. This was the straw, like woven style with the leather and patent leather croc handle. Um, it can be adjusted from shoulder to crossbody. You have your little um, hang tag. These are two functioning zippered pockets. You have the big pocket in the front and you have a big pocket in the back. All right, everything it was in good condition on this one. Minimal wear to the corners and it does have a zipper closure. And then your interior, there's your Brighton Creed, your zipper and slips. Okay, so this one we are dropping to $45. And keep in mind the um, clearance section, I go a little bit quicker because they've already been shown. So if you want to see them in more detail, check out last week's video and um, you'll see that in more detail. I just go them a little bit more quicker because they've already been shown. So this one, $45. All right, then we had the Kate Spade gold. So this was the gold um, metallic leather and you have the crossbody or longer shoulder bag or shoulder strap. And I guess I missed it in the first video, but there is a little mark right there. Okay, so super nice. Otherwise, zipper closure, Kate Spade with a zipper and your slip. All right, super cute, especially if you're going to a wedding or some kind of formal event, or it doesn't matter if you just like gold. Gold! And we're going to do $39 on it. All right, then we had the Amici. This one was, um, or is, the blue suede. And you got your little jingle jangles. It is a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. It is round with a croc embossed print. Um, this one was in super excellent condition. It just had a little mark right there. But you can wear this to the, this side as the front. It really doesn't have like a front or back. And then it's zipper closure. And the interior is black. You have your little Amici logo right there and the um, zipper there. Super, super cute. Love the color on this. It's matte gold um, hardware, genuine suede. And we're going to drop this one to $30. Then we had the Lee. So this one is also genuine leather, crossbody or longer shoulder bag. It is black leather with this really cute like needle point on the front. All right, excellent condition. You have the pocket in the back. Well, a slight little mark right there. Otherwise, really, really nice. You have um, no pocket in the front. You have zipper closure. Your little brand tag is right here on the um, pull, the zipper pull. And then your interior has a zipper and slip pocket. Slip pockets here, zip on the other side. Super cute, great for the winter. And we're going to do $25. Then we had the brand new with tags, BOC. So brand new, $76 price tag. This is faux leather. It um, can be shoulder or crossbody. Okay, it's like a really pretty teal, like or like a minty green, with the um, like tan faux leather. You have a zipper pocket on the back there. This is in new condition. A lot of times, you know, there might be flaws, but the this one does not have any. You have a pocket here in the front. And then the interior, you have a zipper pocket and your slips. Okay, so brand new with tag, makes a great gift. Holidays are fast approaching. And we're gonna drop this one to $39. All right, then we had the Etne Anye um, gray crossbody with the suede. This was in the inside. I just didn't know where to hang it, so I just put it here. You can take it off. You don't have to, you know, have that on there. There's me. Um, but you have, this is a zipper pocket here. You have a pocket 
there in the front, a zipper pocket there in the back. There is very, very light wear to it. As you can see though, it looks very nice. Uh, zipper closure, and then your interior, you have a little um, card wallet thing that's connected, and a zipper pocket there. So this one, we're going to drop to $30. All right, then we had the coach. This is the black leather, little like tote. All right, really pretty. You have um, some pockets on the side. You have a big pouch pocket on the back. Corners and everything, super duper minimal wear. Handles are great. It just looks like somebody um, re repaired the edge coat, which is fine. Um, then there is a zipper closure. And the interior is black with your creed and zipper and slips. Alrighty, so this one we are dropping to $45. This is really nice, you guys. I conditioned the leather again. It's so it's beautiful. Super duper soft. Then we had the coach tote, which I am very surprised nobody picked up because it is brand spanking new with the tags. Okay, brand new with the tags. It still has all these little um, protective pieces on it. The tag is right here. All right, I did mention in the last video that I did glue it because I accidentally ripped it off while I was taking the other tag off of it. Um, it's $198 on the price tag. You have your um, hang tags. It is a large tote um, brown with the gold leather. It is Poppy, Coach Poppy. All right, um, brand new condition. You have the two zipper pockets up front here. Zipper closure. And the interior has a beautiful blue um, fabric. There's your uh, zipper and creed and your slips. Okay, so brand new with the tags, makes a great gift, and we're dropping it to $85, okay? 85 bucks. Okay. Do I look a little out of focus? Maybe not. Okay, I think we're good. Um, next up, we had the Shira Lee which I think somebody in the comments wrote that they think it's an um, anthropology brand. It is uh, vegan leather, but it really fooled me. I thought it was real. I thought it was real leather. It has the nice softness of real leather. It even has the suede right here. Um, it can be crossbody or shoulder. It is absolutely gorgeous. Excellent, excellent condition. Okay, then you flip it up. It does have a zipper closure. And the interior has that um, suede, the faux suede. There's your Shira Lee right there. Um, there is one small little pen mark, where was it? Right there. But other than that, she's gorgeous, okay? Nice, slouchy, uh, vegan leather, and we're gonna drop it to 35. All right, then we had the coach from, wait, let's do the, let's finish up these. Let's do the Michael Kors pouch. Okay, this is Michael Kors. This is actual Michael Kors, not Michael by Michael Kors. Okay, you have your tag there. Um, there are a couple little teeny spots on the front. It's kind of hard, oh, there we go. Kind of hard to see, but I just, I just wanna point them out. Okay, but otherwise, excellent condition, and we're gonna drop it to 15. And then we had the Banana Republic um, gold leather wristlet. So the wristlet part can be removed and this part can open up to um, enlarge the wristlet a little bit. There was a couple small little marks on the back. 
otherwise excellent. Still has the little plastic on the pull there. And we're gonna drop this one to 15 as well. All right, then we had the two purses from Thread Up. The first one is this one. I don't know why this didn't sell, you guys. This one is so cute. So um, it has the black um, handle that can be adjusted to shoulder or crossbody. It has the little comfort thing here. Um, it is black and beige with the like chestnut um, leather trim. It's in excellent condition. You have a back pocket here. You have the front pocket, um, a zipper closure, the corners and everything, super minimal wear. Um, the inside, I did clean it up on the inside, okay? No pockets, but super cute. I really like this one. Um, I'm dropping it to $35, okay? All right, and then we had the black leather which I spruced up because it was <laughs> quite the mess. But look at it, you guys. I know I showed it in photos in the last video, but check it out. So um, I added a hang tag. It's gray though, it's not black. Um, I conditioned the leather, I cleaned everything. There's just a couple marks on the bottom still, but otherwise it, it came out gorgeous. I cleaned the interior. Okay, all clean. Um, there is just a little bit of fading on the handle, but it's, it's kind of hard to tell. But other than that, she's she came out really nice, you guys. And I'm gonna drop it to only thirty dollars. All right, thirty bucks. Hi, Dallas. Are you done outside? Let me just shut the door, guys. Okay, let's keep going. So that was everything from the clearance section. So let's start with the thrifted purse section. I found a lot of really good purses, you guys. Um, not that many, but really good ones. So we're going to flip the page and we're gonna start with the Margot. So I've talked about this brand before. I really like the quality of leather. Um, super butter soft and just great, great quality. This is a crossbody or a longer shoulder bag. It can be adjusted to a shoulder bag. It's like the perfect size. You have a turn lock here where you have a pocket. The back has nothing. The corners are super duper minimal wear, if any at all. I conditioned this bag, it came out gorgeous. Um, um, zipper closure on the top. There's your zipper and slip. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Are you playing in the um, stuffing, Dallas? And we're gonna do $40 on this one. Super. Okay, then we have a fossil. This one is so cute. This is like a coated canvas, so kind of like, more like a Sapiano leather, but not really. Um, you have the brown uh, leather strap, and it is adjustable. And look how gorgeous this is. So it's like a off-white with black polka dots. You have a pocket here in the front. There's your fossil. Here's your fossil hang tag. The back has a zipper pocket. The corners, super duper minimal wear. This is such a cute bag. And this bag you can definitely carry all year round. Um, it's not, you know, just strictly winter colors or anything like that. Zipper closure, there's your fossil and zipper and slips. I think the, I think the male people are here, so. What are you doing, Dally? Do you wanna come up? Are we gonna start this again? Are you just gonna sit there and stare at mama? And not come up here? Probably. Yeah, I think you are. Well, you'll see. You would have. Saw, you'll see Dallas in the photos. Uh, hi. See how he turns away once the camera comes on him. I'm so shocked that he actually I stuck. Don't know where I left off. So um, here's the fossil, and we're gonna do forty dollars. Dallas is getting restless. 
Okay, um, then we have a really cute coach leather baguette style, but it has a super long handle. Look at this. I love it. So usually you see this style coach with like a short handle. This, we got a nice long handle that can be adjusted. Nice shoulder bag. It is black leather. You have your hang tag here. Okay, minimal, minimal wear. Beautiful condition. There's just a couple little light spots on the back. Okay. But other than that, gorgeous. And it is a zipper closure on top. And interior. Creed and zipper. And nothing on the other side. So this little cutie, we're going to do $40 as well. Okay, then we have an Etne Anye blue leather shoulder bag or crossbody. It has like the snake print up here. You got your EA little logo. Okay, you have the back pocket. Gorgeous, gorgeous condition on this one. I conditioned it, it came out fabulous. Um, the interior. There's no closure except for the little snap button right there. And then you have your um, plaque zipper, okay? Blue leather, gorgeous, and we're gonna do $38. Then we have an Ann Klein. Okay, so this one is new with tag. However, there's two little marks on the back, so I will show you. This is faux leather. It is a like a creamy white. It's not necessarily completely white. Um, it's got the tag. It's called the Perfect Tote. And it has a $69 price tag on it. So the only little flaws, we have a little pen mark here and a little brown mark there. Okay, but there's your pocket. You have your little pen mark. And then the interior is a zipper closure with your zipper there and your slips there. Okay, so for the little um, issues, we're only gonna do $25 on this, okay? Okay, then we have a Betsy backpack. This is a an actual size backpack. It's not like one of those smaller like purse backpacks. It's an actual size uh, backpack. It is faux leather. It has the um, Betsy Johnson on the straps you have the pocket in the front here plaque um you ha you have nope no pockets on the sides let me see so the interior has your zipper and slips on this side there's one little mark on the bottom right there okay so Betsy Johnson, and it is like that quilted heart. And we're going to do 45 on it. All right, then let's bring these guys closer. Okay, so then we have, this is probably my favorite purse of the haul. Pose for the... Um, Maybe do this one for the uh, thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> All right, there's your Dooney hang tag. This is absolutely stunning. It is black with like almost like a gold color. D and B. Little satchel. Gorgeous. You have the handles up top or you have the removable um, shoulder strap. It is in gorgeous condition. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The, uh, it's a zipper closure. I did stuff this one a lot because I wanted the corners to look really nice. So you have the um, signature red interior. And your serial number, 
right there. All right, this is, this is absolutely stunning, you guys. I've never seen a Dooney & Burke in this color combo. Um, these are selling upwards of over $100, $150 used. Um, I'm gonna bring this one to you guys for $80, okay? Absolutely gorgeous. Favorite bag of the haul. Okay, then we have, these next two are really good actually, but I think that one's my favorite. The next one we have is a Brahmin. Okay, this is a crossbody. Um, I don't think you can adjust it. So if you wanna wear it as like a longer shoulder bag, it is purple um, snake print leather. It is gorgeous. It is stunning and in very good condition. So on the front here, you have the turn lock, which is in really nice condition. Um, so you turn that, and in the front here, you have a pocket, and it's all suede inside. The back has a pocket as well. Then your main compartment is all suede, and there's your Brahmin and zipper and slip. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning purse. Okay, and we are going to do 60 on this one. Matches my lipstick. <laughs> okay, let's put that one here. Okay, then next up is also a really great purse that a lot of you probably haven't ever heard of, so keep your eyes peeled for it because it resells for good money. So the brand is MZ Wallace. Okay, MZ Wallace. Um, I have sold bags bigger than this online used for $200, okay? This is a um, crossbody or longer shoulder. It can be adjusted, wait, it can be adjusted shorter, the strap. But it has all these little like studs and it is like a patent, I don't know if it's a patent leather, but it's kind of like, I don't know what you would call that, but it's really nice. <laughs> and you have the zipper pocket here in the front. You have the same kind of zipper pocket in the back. This one is in such gorgeous condition, you guys. So it's a zipper closure on top. Okay, and it's in excellent condition. Super excellent. I've sold purses that were half this size. They were like this, like the little like phone purses for $100. Um, this style is going for upwards of 100, 150 to 175 used. I'm going to bring this one to you guys for $75. Okay. So hop on it. It is stunning. Okay, there's the brand again, MZ Wallace. Awesome, look it up. Okay, and keep your eyes open in the thrift stores because a lot of the thrift stores are unfamiliar with that brand. Okay, so next up we have <laughs> a Vera Bradley. Oh, it got stuck on the other purse, hold on. Okay, so I thought this one was cute. You guys know I am pr very p picky with my Vera Bradleys, but I thought this one was nice. Um, it is a crossbody or shoulder bag, and it's black, and it has all these like bright neon colors, and it is in excellent condition, and you have the little Vera Bradley up here, and the inside is just blank, nice and simple, okay, super cute, long strap, and we're going to do 25 bucks. All right, then let's bring up all these guys. Bring them up, bring them up. Bring them up, bring them up. Go two more. So I don't have to stop the video and I have like 75 clips to put together. <laughs> okay, so next one up we have is a Steve Madden. And I don't normally pick up Steve Madden either, but I thought this one was really cool. So. It's kind of like this greenish brown faux leather. It's got this cool tassel, which is faux suede. 
It's got all these rivets. It has one tassel, still has plastic on it. You have the um, top handle here. Look at this awesome gunmetal hardware. But then it also has a removable long strap for the shoulder or crossbody. There's the back with your Steve Madden. Excellent condition. Those zippers do work, but I don't really understand the function of them, so I don't know. So you uh, put up the flap and there's your snap closure. And your interior, Steve Madden, with the zipper and the slips. All right, super nice. And um, the purse is cinched in on the sides, so you can uncinch that and make the bag bigger, okay? I thought it was pretty cool. Boho meets moto. <laughs> okay, so let's do $40 on this one. Super cool. Okay, then we have a another fossil. Let me see, hopefully, okay, this one did not finish drying yet, so just bear with me with what the back looks like, okay? So this is a fossil. It is gray leather, so it's got a gray leather strap, crossbody or longer shoulder, and it's kind of got like a denim look to it with the gray leather. These are functioning pockets here up front. So I cleaned the back, but see, it, it's a little wet right here. Um, this spot, I, can, I cannot get that off. See that little tan spot? So it's just a little wet still, it will dry. Um, Zipper closure on top, fossil, card slots, zipper, slip. Super cute. I love this little um, color combo, and we're going to do 35 on it. Next up, we have two Brightons. So the first one is more of a vintage Brighton. This is a shoulder bag. It is the black leather with the... Um, brown patent leather croc. There is your hang tag. Minimal wear on that. Minimal wear on that as well. <clears throat> you have a pocket here on the back. This is also a pocket. I did condition this one. There is a little bit of wear on the corners, but it's really nothing bad. Bottom looks great. Okay. So minimal wear to the corners, otherwise we're good. Um, zipper closure on top and then your interior. There is like that spot I couldn't get off, but everything else is good. All right, so super nice vintage Brighton and we're gonna do 49 on it. Let's put you, oh, I'm running out of space, okay. And then the other Brighton is definitely more of a um, modern Brighton. It is a crossbody or longer shoulder strap. It can, the strap can be taken off so you can carry it as a clutch or like a little makeup pouch. It is black leather with like a um, grayish. So the front has more of like a brown black to it and the back has more of like a gray. And then you have a little hang tag here. Um, you have the little pull. The uh, strap is leather and it's great. Bottom is great. Everything on this bag is super great. It's um, excellent, excellent condition. Super cute. And zipper closure. The interior has a little bit of scratching down there because it is leather. There's your zipper, okay? And there is a Brighton tag right there. All right, I, I like this one. So this is super cute and we're gonna do $35 on it. Okay, then we have a Tianello. So this one is super nice. It is a nice, rich, like navy, navy blue. I would just say it's blue, it is blue. And it is a pebbled leather. There's your Tianello tag. You have a big zipper pocket on the front. 
You have a zippered pocket on the back. This one is in excellent condition. I conditioned it as well and it came out fabulous. The corners and bottom are excellent. The handles are excellent. It's a longer handle. So if you have like a nice chunky sweater on or a thick coat, you'll still be okay. It is a magnet closure. You have the option to cinch in the purse even more. And then your interior is the signature Tianello. All your information there and your all your pockets and your slips. So super nice on this one. Beautiful blue color. It's coming out, it's coming across a little darker on camera, but pretty spot on. And we're gonna do $45 on this one. Okay, then we have the pouches. So we have a fossil pouch. This is like a fabric, almost like a canvas bag. It is um, blue, dark, dark blue with the leather um, pin, pinstriping, I guess you would say. Uh, zipper closure and then completely blank inside, very clean. Okay, so this one we are going to do 15. Okay, then I found this one. So this is a vintage um, designer. It is a high-end designer, um, but this is a vintage little pouch, little travel case. Um, this is leather here. Um, I'm not sure what the bag itself is actually made out of. I don't think it's leather, but it's by a brand called Jock Esterel. And I hope I said that right, Esterel, yeah, Jock Esterel. Uh, made in Paris. I just thought it was really like classic and it is in super excellent condition. You have the zipper closure and your interior is completely blank. And there's your Jock Esterel made in Paris. Okay, so this one we are going to do $25. And the logo is um, J-E, see all that J-E? All right, 25 on that, super classy. Okay, that sums up the purses. Let's go into the shoes. I have a few pairs of shoes and then I have a few clothing items. So let's start with the first pair. And I grabbed these because they are so cute and they're brand new. I had never heard of Yellow Box, but I just thought they were super cute. They are a fabric, um, stretchy, camo print little sneaker they're in excellent condition well they're brand new um, they probably were tried on in the store because there's like a little bit of dirt but nothing really too serious these are a size eight okay and i will ask 23 dollars on them super cute then we have so these do not have a maker on them um, I could not find a brand. Um, I think somebody put new soles on them and I think that's where the brand might have been um, because I don't see any brand anywhere. But they are genuine leather. Actually, this might be the brand, UXIA, I don't know but I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous. They are a size eight and um, they have been worn maybe once or twice and the insides are so, so super clean. There's no peeling of the leather or anything. So these are a size eight, little booty with a low heel, probably, inch, probably two inches on the heel and I'm going to ask $35 on these. So pretty. Okay, then we have a pair of Donald J. Pliner, which is a higher end designer. This is, these are a pair of um, um, sandals. They are size six and a half. And it has this like um, kind of woven material in the front here. Good condition little um, platform wedge. 
they do have a little thong there for the toes. So six and a half, really excellent condition, and I'm gonna ask $28. Okay. Then we have, last but not least, a pair of Jeffrey Campbell um, sandals. These have like a ribbon, little glittery material, bow. These are a size six and a half as well. Little thong sandals, super cute. And we're going to do $24 on these, okay? Okay, that's it for the shoes. Now let's go into the few uh, clothing items and then we'll open the thread up box. Oh yeah. Okay, so remember to check that sold list down in the comment section, guys. All right, so first up we have, I'm just gonna do it in the order that's right here. I'll have to skip around on my list. So first up we have this like Teddy sweater. It is blue, it's by a brand called Orvis. I really don't know anything about the brand, but I just picked it up because it was so cute. It is a pullover, little um, half zip hoodie. Um, it is a, not a hoodie, pullover sweater. It's a size medium. You have two pockets here in the front. Excellent condition. Okay, so the measurements, the length on it is 24 inches. And then the armpit to armpit is 19 inches, okay? So when you're measuring yourself, put it from right the beginning of your armpit across your chest to the other armpit, all right? Or get a favorite shirt of yours that fits really well and you like how it fits and lay it down and measure right underneath the armpit here to right underneath the armpit, okay? So this one's um, 19 inches armpit to armpit and we're gonna do $23 on it. Super cute. Let's put you over here. Then we have, so guys, I had no idea that Lulu Row made jackets. Look at how stinking cute this is. So my favorite patterns are cheetah and camo. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> so here is such a super cute little, um, it's, it's like denim, it's like a soft denim. Lulu Row cheetah jacket in a size large. You have all these cute buttons. You have two pockets on the front. It is kind of like a cropped, it's not cropped, but it's shorter. All right, excellent, super excellent condition. So this is a large. So length on it is 21 inches and the armpit to armpit is 20 inches, okay? 20 inches armpit to armpit. Super stinking cute, I love it. <clears throat> then we have a brand new with tags, Juicy Couture hoodie. This is a hoodie. It is pink and the new with tags right here, $45, size extra large, Super soft on the inside. It's it's lightweight, but it's definitely very um, soft. All right, you got the little band at the bottom there. Super cute. I, I really like this one too, but it's too big for me. Um, so this one is 20 inches length, and the armpit to armpit is 24 inches, okay? So extra large or large if you want it to be a little bit baggy. Super cute, makes a great gift. <laughs> okay, so this one we're gonna do $25. Okay, then last but not least, this one's gonna be the one that kills my arm. So I have a Michael by Michael Kors Peacoat. So let's see if I can stand up and hold it. It is gray. It is gorgeous. I had it cleaned. All the buttons are there. I just um, have it closed. I just have one button closed. You have two pockets on each side, okay? You have the little things on the sleeves. Um, it is a size large. The back, you have the little slit. It's not cut though, you can cut it. 
So this comes like this, and then you can cut it if you want the slit open, okay? So the inside, let's open it up. Gorgeous. And this side you have a pocket, a inner pocket. All right, so this one is a large, and the measurements are 33 inches long and 21 inches across the armpits. And this, and it's with it closed, okay? So 21 inches with it buttoned. Absolutely stunning, and I'm gonna ask $48, okay? I actually have a brown one that's almost full length in my antique booth. So if that doesn't sell in the next two months, it'll be offered to you guys. So 48 on this one. Okay, Whew. it's a workout doing this video. All right, so that's everything. Let's open up the thread up box and see what we got. Let's hope that it's better than last week's coach box. Um, okay, so let's grab it. Ugh. This one came from Swanee, Georgia as well. I tend to think that the ones from Mechanicsburg's, Mechanicsburg PA are the best, um, but let's hope that this one's at least better. This is the Thread Up name brand handbag rescue box. Okay, put you down. I ordered this on October 17th, rescue box, name brand handbag, $100. You get five pur purses, it's actually four purses and one accessory, okay? Um, so let's see. My mystery purse boxes are all purses, no accessories, except the, purse, the, one, the boxes that are surprise six, that sixth item it is a smaller item, not a purse. Ooh, okay, so this is a really good first looks. That orange one is a Michael Kors. Do that for the... Jewelry? That's not like a purse accessory. Let me see. What is this? It's a keychain. Okay, it's brand new, yes, but what am I gonna do with this? They really want $39 for this? Okay, so it is a pink, like a blush, pale pink, um, Kate Spade key fob, uh, keychain. I mean, it's cute, it's pretty, it's brand new, but I want a purse, not a keychain. <laughs> so it's brand new. Um, it comes with the little bag, and I guess this is the box that it comes in. Um, $15. I'm kind of disappointed with that, I'm not gonna lie. When I buy a purse box, I want purses. All right, so maybe the rest will make up for it. Let's hope so. So this is super cute. Um, let me see if I can maybe stuff it or something. Get it a little uh, opened up here. This is really cute. Okay, so it is orange with uh, beige handles. Here's your Michael Kors hang tag which is in pretty good condition. Straps look okay. It does look like there's supposed to be a um, larger strap. There's a little bit of wear on the hardware. The corners are actually in really good condition. Um, super minimal wear. There is a little bit of wear, but not a lot at all. Um, it does kind of stink that there's no larger handle, but I'm sure you can find just a beige leather strap on Amazon. Um, so the inside actually looks pretty good. There's a couple little spots, but nothing too major. There's all your Michael Kors info. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so actually this is really nice and this is a great bag for the fall and the winter. Um, little bit of wear, really nothing serious. So this is really nice. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do $45 on it. That's nice. Okay, let's hope for good ones to come. Okay, this is, oh, this is a long chomp. Okay, I've never seen one like this. This is awesome. It is a beautiful teal color. It is leather. There's your long chomp on the back. Long chomp. I don't know what else that says. Modèle de posse. I don't know. I don't speak French. So, um, yep, it has the little hang tag, the little key fob, I mean, pull, whatever. So it has the longer strap. It's in good condition, but there's a little, like, a little bit of discoloration here and there. It's not, it's really not horrible. Like, it's a little bit lighter on the handles where you hold it. I mean, it's super freaking soft. Um, it's, you know, it's a little faded, but not too bad. I know you can send them in to be repaired, but I don't really have time for all that. Um, this is the inside <laughs> with your zipper. So it's actually really nice on the inside. It's super clean. Um, here's your long chomp tag. So this is really nice. Um, I don't know what they would be able to do with the fading of the leather. There is a little pen mark right there. Um, okay. So I'm just going to do, um, let's just do 40 on it. I know it's, it's probably worth more, but... There is some fading to the color, so 40 bucks on that. My arm hurts. Okay, so that was three. Okay, I see four and five. So here's a Kate Spade. Black leather. It's like a little tote. Um, it looks okay. A little dirty on the bottom, which is fine. It just needs to be, um, you know, once you have your stuff in it, it'll reshape itself <clears throat> the handles look good so the interior you have three compartments okay good see the middle okay good the middle is zippered and the front is a little bit dirty on the bottom but otherwise, excellent. So this is a nice structured um, black leather tote by Kate Spade. It's actually really nice. There's hardly any wear on the corners. I will clean it up. I always clean up the mystery box purses as best as I can. So let's try, um, let's do 48. Okay, last but not least is a Dooney. It's not horrible. Um, it's got a little bit of, you know, wear to the corner. It's definitely a little out of shape because they shoved it in this box. The um, leather is darker on the top of the handles from the oil on the person's hands, uh, which is normal. Wear to the corners. Ink spot there. The back, the back pocket is okay. Zipper closure. It's actually all leather on the inside. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. All leather. And this is a zippered, zippered section. So the inside is actually very clean. Very, 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 very clean. There's your Dooney. It's ripped, but you got your serial number. So I will clean this one up. I think I can kind of, um, there's a 
big discoloration on the bottom. Let me see where that is if you're holding it. Okay, so it's more on the back. So the back does have some issues, but it's the back. The front looks pretty okay. Um, I will do my best to clean it up. Um, it's not gonna look, you know, great. It's not gonna look perfect, but I'll do 40 bucks on it and I'll try to clean it up as best as I can. Um, I'll fix up the corners. I have like conditioning, you know, tinted conditioning and stuff. So yeah, 40 bucks, why not? Okay, so that's everything, you guys. So what'd you think? I actually liked, I really liked this haul and I'm, I get so excited to bring you guys my finds. Um, so let me know, did you have a favorite purse? What was, what'd you think of the thread up box? Um, remember, if you want one of the mystery boxes, you have to just say you want a mystery box, but if you want the seven piece one, that's the only one you can request, okay? It's the seven piece one for $100. Um, they're all $100 shipped. If you would like additional purses, um, it, it'll be in a separate order and separate shipping, okay? Um, so, yeah, so that's awesome. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and we will see you in the next one.